On Wednesday morning, Shannon Sharp became quite popular for the wrong reasons. The sports commentator unintentionally shared an Instagram Live video in which he was suspected to be having sex with a woman. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Needless to say, the internet was taken aback, and shortly after the tweet, Sharp quickly released a statement. He informed supporters that he was trying to fix the issue after claiming to have been hacked. It was untrue. During his nighttime appearance on the Nightcap podcast, Sharp answered some questions. Shannon Sharp affirmed that there was no real hacking of his Instagram account. He acknowledged that the Instagram Live was an error and that, upon realizing what had transpired, he was quite humiliated. I'm disappointed in myself. I let a lot of people down. The ex-athlete explained. Called my sister. Obviously, my friend reached out. But God, this was not staged. Shannon Sharp clarified that the IG Live video that went viral was not staged. He went on to detail the circumstances in which the accidental stream occurred. Came in, I threw my phone on the bed, engaged in an activity. Shannon Sharp continued to bolster his argument by mentioning that, until this viral event, he had never gone on Instagram Live. I never turned IG Live on, so I don't know how it works, he declared. The sportscaster claimed that he was unaware of a problem until his other phone began to ring. His manager informed him that he was being watched by millions of people while having sex, so he stopped doing his activity. Understandably enough, Sharp acknowledges that when he realized what he had done, his heart fell. The host of Club Shay Shay also talked about the untrue rumor that his account had been compromised. He reported that in order to handle the situation, his team swiftly erected a post and divided the stream. But after giving the matter some thought, Sharp decided it was best to be truthful. He requested his followers to pardon him after acknowledging his error. After Achisinko joined him on the pod, the tone relaxed, but Shannon Sharp effectively ended the story. The romantic conflict involving Tamar Braxton and Jeremy J.R. Robinson, a former spouse, is intensifying. Furthermore, it's likely that you are already aware of the former's accusation against the latter, that she used her money to date another lady. The artist went so far as to accuse someone of being the side chick in question on social media by sharing their page. It appears that this purported flame did, in fact, react to the entire situation. On Tuesday, this woman made some very, very false accusations. She said that she never replied to JR's direct messages and that she doesn't want Braxton to apologize, denying ever having met him. Against me and who you guys call the KFC man. She began. They're untrue. Have never met this man in my life. This woman has called me a tramp. The woman continued about Tamar Braxton, and she's insinuating that I have been having relations with her. Husband, fiance, I don't know what it is. I didn't know anything about the marriage. To my knowledge, nobody else knew. I don't know. Jeremy getting on live and addressing the fact that none of this was true obviously wasn't enough for this woman to clear this whole situation up. So I am here to do so along with telling the real truth about this gentleman who is trying to play what I feel is both sides. She's saying that this charge right here was made on the 30th of August. She claims that he was at the Four Seasons with me. False. I'm chilling and I'm watching TV and I get a notification. Braxton recently used Instagram Live to criticize JR after her credit card was charged at the Four Seasons in New Orleans. That my car got used, look at the date, to the Four Seasons Hotel in New Orleans. Now I know I'm not in New Orleans. She claimed not to be there and hurriedly contacted JR to resolve the situation. When she contacted, she says he was rude and the hotel informed her that the reservation was made under Mr. Jeremy Robinson and his guest Ms. J. And automatically, you got an attitude. I'm like, what you? Although Ms. J's identity is still unknown, Braxton subsequently posted a screenshot of a woman's Instagram profile, which seemed to identify her. She disputes this, as does JR. SMH tool my jewelry took me to Turks and all along had a whole tramp I hate you at Jeremy Robinson. JR responded to Braxton's charges today, stating that everything was a misunderstanding. He claims that the last three numbers on both cards are the same, which would account for the confusion in the booking. In addition, he disputes being with the woman Braxton criticized on Instagram, calling her only a random woman. I have never led Tamar Braxton on, I never will, nor will I, he also added. You don't just go on social media and start attacking somebody that you claim you love, that you care for as a friend. Then you post pictures of you and my daughters together, but then you're throwing their dad under the bus. It's not cool. Sexy Red is often the target of criticism because to her outrageous antics and vulgar song lyrics. Now, detractors have gone farther and begun to cast doubt on her family life. The hitmaker welcomed her youngest child into the world just last year. She has two little children. Despite this significant change, Sexy Red has continued to work diligently on a new album, a tour, and other projects. Even though she's never too busy to spend time with her children, some still criticize her parenting style. But now, she took to the internet to respond with a little video. She and her daughter can be seen hanging out on what looks to be a tour bus in the video. She mocks her detractors by saying, She don't never got her kids. 
She then scoops the child up and plants many kisses on her, displaying her maternal side. It's obvious that Sexy Red is a strict mom and doesn't like when others doubt her ability to raise children. It's not easy being a well-known rapper and a mother of two, as she acknowledged earlier this month. After Get It Sexy achieved gold certification, she talked candidly about having her second child and disclosed that she experienced postpartum depression. The night Get It Sexy was made I was going through a lot just had my baby felt depressed, and was going through postpartum, she shared. My team in Miami would leave me in the studio to write songs and I would just be in there crying thinking about life. She was fortunately cheered up by visiting her family in her hometown of St. Louis.